Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston, or aka the King of Boston. Today we're back with episode 8 of the Oakland A's franchise. Today we're at the 2015 first year player draft. We're going to be looking for some young guys in the draft, of course. And um, anyway, I was always looking for those eight potentials. And um, if you guys missed my announcing my MLB 13, the show series is. Ooh, there's an A. Um, you should go check that out because a lot, I always get asked. You know, are you doing road of the show? Are you doing franchise? You know, who are you doing for franchise? You know, for whatever. Um, all questions are gonna be answered in that video. So if you have any questions of that nature, I'm just gonna direct you towards that video, and uh, you can go check it out there. But anyway, just wanted to say that quickly, get that out of the way. I figured I'd say there's a B. Hopefully, I'll be able to get him next round if I draft that left fielder. There's another B. If not, I can get that Browning guy. Anyway. Oh yeah, there's a couple B's in this. A lot of left fielders. And some crappy catchers as usual. Got a lot of scouted guys. Anyway, I should probably like... No, there's another B. Another left fielder. I should probably like highlight... Ooh, there's an A. I should probably highlight a lot of this. Instead of showing so much of it, of the draft. Because I'm sure you guys just don't care so much. I think it's this guy. Yeah, we want this guy. And then we're going to try and get that other A. I think he was a center fielder. It's towards the end. I should probably just do it this way. Yeah, Robert Fader, right fielder. And then we're going to try and snatch up one of those Bs uh, from left field. If there's still any left. Nope. Okay, I believe we didn't scout any other Bs. Or any other players, actually. We'll check, though. Ricky Klawiski, there's a C. B... The uh, yeah, alright, so we're gonna go this guy, and then I think we'll have one more pick, maybe two more picks, probably two more picks. Go this guy, 18. Always go for the 18 year olds, really, so that they have the most time to develop. Okay, we didn't get an extra pick. All right. Um. So anyway, it's been a pretty disappointing season so far. We started out really well, and really up until about here-ish, we really started to fall off, and now we're. Lost a bunch of games here. We've kind of built up a little bit lately. We've got a... We're 500. We are the sixth overall team. We're 10 games out of first. We're only two and a half out of the wild card, which is good. And I feel like if we make the playoffs, we have a chance. So, uh, really, my main goal right now is just to make the playoffs with this team. Uh, we started out really well, especially pitching-wise. Falling off a bit lately. I'm definitely going to probably... Well, definitely going to probably... I think I'm going to trade Jared Parker just because of his contract. He's underperforming. And we just have other guys ready, such as Holton and Tehran have been doing great out of the bullpen this year. How another stellar year. Addison Reed, holy shizzle. Uh, C is having a great year, so. Anyway, lineup-wise, weak, solid, Profar, eh. Lustak is good. Montero, good. Myers, good. Olt, good. Hamilton, yep. Martin's filling in for Yohan Cespedes, who's hurt right now. Uh, Gary Brown, eh. And then, Kila Kawhi, good year. Brandon Belt. Um, why doesn't he... Well, that's weird. I uh, feel like, yeah, that should definitely happen. Actually, Belt can play center field. I think we should do that and start probably Hamilton. Although Hamilton can play center field too, which I might rather do. Yeah, we're going to do that instead. Because um, I definitely want Belt playing. I don't know why I didn't have Belt playing before. Yeah, switch those two. Switch those two. I'm going to move Belt up in our orders. Keep it righty lefty I know he doesn't play against DHs because that's when we play ult and I could probably play Hamilton instead of Martin you should probably do that so I'm really likely on this Martin it's not that good quite frankly okay so we'll do that and yes in case you're wondering where is he Billy Hamilton can play center field I'm not just like bullshitting um and who are who's our lowest A overall at this point is it more okay so we have that many a's that's good that's solid um so now i'm gonna simulate to the all-star break and i'll be back all right and we're back let's see if we got anyone in the home run derby nope although yeah okay i just want to see if there's any surprising names in there go to the all-star game see who got in for the a's pitchers i don't think we're gonna get anyone except maybe a reliever nope uh bad air batters Montero and Mustakas. Sadly, isn't starting even though he's having a good year. But really, Alberto Cayaspo? Really? 
Oh, Desmond Jennings, he's so good in this game. All right. And uh, I'm going to keep simulating, and I'll be back. All right, so we're back, and man, it has just been a struggle for this team. We've just not been able to put together a streak. We've fallen, like, four-plus games behind the wild card. Yeah, seven and a half. I knew it was at least four, because, the, the, yeah, the Angels are four ahead of us, but the Indians, wow, are three and a half ahead of the Angels. So we're seven and a half back. We really need to put together a streak or something. Um, so we're going to be looking at some trades, guys. So I'd like to trade... I think I'm going to trade Jared Parker because it's it'll help us a little bit financially in the coming years. Uh, trying to re-sign guys like Trevor Bauer, who we might look to trade. It really depends on what types of offers we get. Um, Yeah, guys on expirings, uh, we might look to deal. I don't, you know, I don't really know, quite frankly. But we'll see where we go with this. So anyway, um, I'm going to try and look to make some trades, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back, and I found my good, really good Jared Parker deal. So I'm trading Parker. I'm getting Jordan Zimmerman, who's on, he's still got three years left on his deals, an A overall. It's a solid $3.3 .3 million deal, which means he's going to be locked up. He's had a couple really good seasons lately. I really like Jordan Zimmerman. He's just doing really well at this point, and he really would be a, a really, I don't know how to say it, but he'd be a great staff ace. Uh, moves more to the two spot, which will help him out a little bit. And we're giving up two relievers because the, um, the Blue Jays are really looking for relievers at this point. After Robinson, Robinson Tejada kind of gets weak, and we're taking on Edwin Encarnacion's contract, which is, yeah, it's 1.85 million. So, but it's an expiring, which is fine. So it'll it'll still help us out financially this off season, which is good. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do this deal. Probably could have got something else out of that, but all well. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep keep it wheeling and dealing. So I'll be back. All right, so there's two deals here that I'm kind of playing around with. Um, I think Trevor Bauer is going to be up for arbitration after this year, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken on that, though. And I don't know what kind of money he's going to command. Uh, Dylan Bundy is an option. Now, he's a guy who's not going to be up for arbitration next year. He'd be up for a contract renewal. And Mark Appel is a guy who I used to have on the team. And then we traded away. Uh, he's having a decent year in Tampa Bay. He's under contract for two more years. Bundy helps us out a bit more financially, so I think I want to do the Bundy deal. I'd love to throw in Encarnacion, but that's not going to happen. Um, we're going to kind of have to look for an Encarnacion deal and a separate one, but I think I'm going to do this Bundy deal. It's a little bit younger, and um, yeah, it just, you know, it helps us financially a little bit, which, you know, we're the Oakland A's, but you have to think about these things. It's one of the reasons why I want to do the A's for a franchise, for a sim franchise, because you do kind of have to think about the things you do financially. And um, yeah, so anyway, I don't think there's anyone else I really want to get out of this deal. Um, Chris Carter. <laughs> wonder how he's doing. Anyway, I could get Machado. Machado's going to cost me someone. Yeah, look at that. They, they're high on Machado, and I don't blame them. He's pretty good. Yeah, all right. So we're going to do this deal. Okay, thought I recognized the name. Yep, so I think we're going to do this deal. Helps us out financially. And, yeah, really nothing else I should tell. That's kind of a money deal. It's kind of an on-paper deal. Bundy, not quite as good as Bauer, but, you know, st you know stats-wise this year, he's been doing fine. Um, him or Odorizzi, we'll see who pitches for us in the rotation. Odorizzi's been alright in AAA. Maybe he'll take Harvey's spot, who's really struggled this year. But, um, anyway, yep, uh, kind of keep looking for a few more deals. Might trade, try to trade some relievers. But, uh, anyway, we'll be back. Alright, so here's another deal I'm going to make. This is going to be a reliever for a reliever trade. Addison Reed is guys really struggled for us this year. Look at that 976 ERA. I was going to trade him originally for this guy, CJ Natowski, who's um, he had minimal MLB service time, so having an right year, B overall, B potential. Uh, but instead, I'm going to get Clay Zavada, mainly because I just like Clay Zavada's mustache in real life, and because um, he's had a just slightly better year this year. I don't think there's really anyone else I want to go after, so I'm going to be looking for Zavada. Uh, I'd love to throw in a guy like Stassi, or I don't know, just going to kind of go through the prospects here for a moment. Bear with me, of course. That'd be amazing. Can't remember who I traded for Oscar Tavares out of this team, but I know they have some good pitching prospects. I don't know if they traded many of them. There's Matt Barnes. He's a Red Sox prospect. Yeah, it looks like they traded away. They're two big pitching prospects. One of them might have been to me for Dallas Braden, I think. But um, yeah, we're going to get Zavada. And if there's any other salary we can up, I'd, I'd love to trade him in our Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to get rid of his contract. That's good. It's always a plus. We'll take on maybe this guy. Well, he's got beat potential, why not? And that does remind me, I need to go sign my draft picks. Yeah, we're just going to give... 
Okay. Um, I was like, what? And then this guy. Yeah, we're going to let go. Oh, I did not mean to sign that guy. I gave him a four-year deal, too. Can we trade him? Let's see, a center fielder. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. All right, so here's another kind of uh, getting younger. Helps us out financially. Um, and also, you know, we just... Yeah, I really want to start Mike Holt at first base. Uh, he's just become a spectacular hitter for us. A overall, definitely need to start him. And Belt, I feel, um, is a good hitter. But uh, Jonathan Simpleton's a really young. He was raw, um, you know, at the beginning of this kind of franchise. And he's just really, really improved. Um, and I really feel like he has a higher ceiling. He's a little bit younger than Belt. I think Belt's going to kind of peak soon. And if he peaks at that B overall... Um, that's going to be kind of a lost cause. So I think we're going to try and get Jonathan Sanchez. Because I really like Sanchez. Or Singleton, not Sanchez. Singleton. Uh, I really like Singleton in real life. I don't suppose we're going to be able to tack on like an Aaron Crow. Um, or even a Taiwan Walker. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Or Michael Choice. Or... Man, this team is good. This Mariners team is solid. Bubba Starling. But um, yeah, this is another kind of get young type of deal. Let's try to wait one of our scrub products. Uh, yeah, this guy. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that deal. Once again, getting younger, shaking up the roster a little bit, trying to just make some changes. And um, hopefully we got a guy with a little bit of a higher ceiling. Bell was a guy that I planned on. He was going to arbitration after this year, and I just didn't want to pay him too much. Singleton's a guy who's not going to be up for arbitration for another couple of years, so that's good. Uh, once again, just, you know, an on-paper sort of financially helping us type of trade. And I think we've really done well with this team. So, just addressing the rotation at this point. We don't have anyone down here getting overpaid, really, in the millions or whatever for not starting. So, I think that's pretty much going to do it for the trades. Let's address our lineup. We do have a need now for, I believe, a DH. So, we might... I think we're going to go with Singleton, just considering the year he's had so far. He's a very good left-handed hitter. If you throw a lefty in that lineup, that's really good. I think he actually fits right in right where I want him to be. And I think maybe... Well, because he can play left field. I think we'll have him play over single or er, over Brown in this case, which gives a little bit better hitter than Brown, having a little bit better of a season. Yeah, that works. All right. So yeah, we have a lot of flexibility now, and um, I really like this team. I really like this lineup. We'll see if we can make a push towards the second half of the year. We have to input Jordan Zimmerman and Dylan Bundy now. I'm gonna keep Pax in the bullpen, um, as well as Holson. Tehran's in there for now for the injured Matt Moore. And I'll keep Odorizzi down there for now. I think I'm going to do something with Matt Harvey in the offseason. Probably just going to let him walk or something. You know, see. I don't think I want to trade him right now. But I think he's a guy that I don't really have plans for in the future. So we could try to trade him now and make room for Odorizzi. Uh, in fact, I think I might explore offers for him at this moment. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go explore offers for Matt Harvey and just see what we can do. I'll be back. All right. So what I'm trying to do here with the Matt Harvey deal is I'm dumping him away. I'm getting guys who are not quite there yet. We have Noah Syndergaard and Lewis Heredia, two C overall A potential guys, not quite there yet. Gonna be part of the future really maybe when a couple of our starters leave for free agency. Just cause you know, we are the Oakland A's, don't have that much money. Not gonna be able to re-sign some of them. Possibly when they go to free agency, kind of like maybe a Matt Moore in the coming years or really even like, uh, I don't know. Maybe, I, yeah, I really don't know. But um, it's going to help us out. It's going to let Odorizzi probably come up and pitch or maybe throw Tehran in the rotation permanently. We'll kind of see. We're also getting uh, Dak McGuire because his name is awesome and he's C overall B potential. Although, if I can find a younger, I might get uh, that Nist. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to not get Dak McGuire as much as I want that name. I'd rather get one of these guys just because they're a little bit younger. Yeah, we're going to get... A 22 year old, even though he's had a slightly worse year, does not matter too much. Yeah, we're gonna get this guy because he's 22, and we do that. So, what this is gonna now allow us to do is call up Jake Odorizzi, and just because he's had a solid year so far. I think we're gonna going to throw him into the rotation instead of Holson, and then we'll make a decision depending on uh, on how he does, whether him. Or Tehran, or maybe even Trevor May will come out when Matt Moore comes back. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the moves for this deadline. I'm going to simulate the last week. We're going to get by it, go into the waivers, go into the second half of the season. Hopefully pull together some sort of streak and just see what we can do. I don't know if we're going to make the playoffs. We're still out for a week or two. 
but uh, we just really have been struggling this year and as you can see I mean we're just not winning games keep simulating Josh Donaldson's healthy and we're getting into the waiver period simulates and then um, I suppose we'll put claims in on a few of these guys even though there really isn't much point to it but why not why not Doug Fister don't really need him Sergio Santos would be good extra relievers never hurts other than that if you can find a young guy sometimes they sneak into maybe eight potential prospects in here I've seen it like once but it's a rarity it's for sure all right so anyway so we're just gonna wrap up this episode for the Oakland A's franchise see you guys in the offseason if not the playoffs it's gonna wrap it up for me I thank you guys for watching hope you did enjoy so it's mouth peace